It's broad daylight and lots of people are outside of an apartment complex, then a shooting right in front of everyone. That's what happened today. A scary scene that has people who live there frustrated, but not necessarily surprised. WTOC's Lindsay Stanger spoke with neighbors as they watched the police coming in and out of the complex as if it was nothing out of the ordinary. That's right, John. They act like it's nothing new because to them it isn't anything new. I spoke with many residents off camera who referred to the sustainable Fellwood as a war zone with how many gunshots they hear. A shooting just steps away from a playground. I got a grandbaby myself that that you know comes out here and play and I don't let her come to that park because of that situation. Neighbors stood by and watched the heavy police presence flood the complex this afternoon after the sounds of gunshots traveled again all the time. It's like once a week. When police responded, they found a man with non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. They took the victim to Memorial Hospital by EMS, although this wasn't a fatal ending to the shooting. A resident of the complex for the last three years says it's just a matter of time with no end in sight. And today it's going to happen again tomorrow, maybe the next day or the day after. It's constant. It's stuff that always happens. This resident who wishes to keep her identity anonymous says that she is currently trying to move so that she can get away from the violence that seems to haunt these parts of Savannah. Last week, Mommy. gunshots Daddy. right by the room window, to be exact. Um, you look outside, you see people scattering. So It's something that she and other residents can agree on. It's happening too much and too often. I'm scared yeah. bullets going to come through my window. No it's just too much. According to the Savannah Police Department weekly crime report, three reports of gun violence were recorded last week. All right, thanks a lot, Lindsay. We we'll want you to take.